Hey everyone, I'm Catalina Martone. I am the Healthy Gut Girl and I'm here to tell you a quick story about the difference between wild fermentation and lacto-fermentation. There's a lot of misinformation out there right now about um, well, what's being said is that you should avoid fermented foods when you're doing a diet elimination or when you have candida or any kind of other di digestive distress. And I'm here to tell you that these same people are not entirely clear about the difference between the two fermentations. Wild fermentation is fermentation that is actually exposed to wild bacteria, to airborne bacteria like kombucha, like certain vinegars, like beer, like wine. Um, and lacto-fermented foods for fermentation is when you ferment something in, a, in an anaerobic environment. You put it in a container like a glass jar and it's not exposed to any outside air. Uh, and then we add a culture to it. This is the body ecology method of culturing foods. So it's a lacto-fermentation that is cultured. When you add a starter to it, you're adding more beneficial bacteria to it to ensure that it's good for you, to ensure that the bacteria load that you're getting from these foods are actually the right bacteria that are going to help you heal your gut. There is a very small percentage of people, I would say probably 1%, maybe even less, of people who have something called SIBO, S-I-B-O, and that is small in, uh, intestinal bacteria overgrowth. And this is um, very uncommon, and it's basically attributed to having a either a nanobacteria or a parasite or some kind of infective bacteria that is existing in the small intestine. Unfortunately, when you eat fermented foods or a lot of other things, it can trigger a histamine reaction. You can have watery eyes, itchy eyes, uh, skin rashes when you eat the fermented foods, and that is a signal to you if it happens repetitively, it's a signal to you that perhaps you might have SIBO and you can't tolerate. This is a very small percentage of people. In fact, some of, them have, some of them are even cured by starting with the tiniest amounts of like coconut kefir, for example, or the juice of the uh, cultured vegetables. Little tiny drops and slowly introduce it to the gut and add a prebiotic like EcoBloom by Body Ecology. And you add this to the to the gut and you start to slowly re-establish the healthy bacteria in the gut and it takes over the bad guys. Um, that's one way to help it. Sometimes people need to be put on an antibiotic. I'm not a fan of that. I know that Donna Gates is also not a fan. She's the author of The Body Ecology Diet. She's not a fan, but sometimes when people have truly have SIBO, this is uh, the answer, unfortunately. Um, I'm, not, I'm not encouraging that. I think there might be other ways to get around it, but uh, that's what people are doing now uh, to cure that or to heal that. Um, so that's it. That's the difference between uh, the wild ferments. So avoid kombucha, avoid anything that's wildly fermented and stick to the cultured foods. And the body ecology method is the safest and the best effective way to do that. You can visit me on healthygutgirl.com. Thank you so much.